Welcome to Alex G's Aquarium, everybody. Today, I want to give everybody a different perspective and look top down out of all of the tanks in the 1600 gallon system. Starting by looking at the 150 gallon refuge, which you can see is just loaded with macro algae. Not only do I have red macro algae, green macro algae, and brown macro algae growing, but you can see the coralline algae is just going crazy. It's covering all the sides of the tank and almost the entire bottom of the 150 gallon refuge tank. I couldn't ask for better algae growth than this. I think in time it's going to overtake the algae growth that's going on in the 480 gallon tank. Let's go and get some top down footage of the corals in the 480 gallon tank. I think this best shows how a top-down view of a tank normally looks with all the water flow pumps on and it's not really easy to see and this is why you make a viewing box. You can see all the beautiful colors of all the corals here. The frog spawns are looking great. I've even had to kind of separate them out a bit because they were doing so good main colonies right here. Candy canes are looking good. The bubble coral is looking awesome. This cat's eye bubble is enormous. It is far bigger than my hand. It's starting to get to be lights out now and the feeding tentacles are coming out. But that thing is just one of the most beautiful corals I have in this tank right now. I'm glad that it's thriving and doing really well in the tank. The Wesophilia is also doing good. And this other green bubble, when I got it first looked almost orange. It's now turned into this awesome neon green, almost yellow color. And it is a great looking bubble. It should have a happy and healthy long life in this tank. The sea anemone is also looking great. It's a little more open today been feeding this anemone a couple times a week trying to make sure that it gets the food it needs. You can still see there's some cyanobacteria on the bottom of the tank but the algae battle is not being won by the algae anymore. Green Cinellaria is looking good and the couple little frags of zoas that I have are also been doing really good. Don't know the names on them but the orange one looks really nice and so does the green one. The toadstool leather is looking good. It's got its green polyps extended really nice. This Hollywood Stunner here, I believe it's called, is just looking awesome top down. You can even see one of the fairy wrasses wants to get a little bit of camera time. Coral is looking great though from a top down perspective. Monopora, as you can see, it's got a nice bright rim to it. It's still growing slowly. Algae hasn't really been impeding it too much. It's looking great. The Duncan Coral, which also is looking really nice right now. Full polyp extension on it. And it's going to be growing out to be a beautiful colony in this spot. And you could even see the branching Monopora down there. And the Fairy Rass, which I got to say has really been loving the viewing box. Every time it comes into this tank, that fairy wrasse is always not far behind. And the acros. This one, I literally just had to remount it because I accidentally bumped it while I was cleaning some algae out of the tank yesterday. As you can notice, there's not as much algae on this side of the tank. Another acro is just looking amazing from the top down. This is a beautiful piece. Another beautiful little acro frag. These haven't really grown a whole lot yet, mainly because I really haven't turned the lights up. This acro frag here is also looking pretty nice. And I think this acro here is probably the only one that's been showing a little bit more in the signs of growth. I definitely have noticed that the base of this acro has been growing out some. The colors definitely changed on this a bit. The algae has encroached on this macro a little bit, but it's not really been doing a whole lot in the way of harming the acro. Kind of clean it out every now and then. Everything's been looking good. Since I turned the lights up over 50%, I 
and seeing polyp extension on all of these corals, which is definitely something that I think is a great sign. This is a great looking coral here, I gotta say. And just in case anyone's asking what lighting I'm capturing this corals in, I have my Coral Plus T5s on, and the Radions are on, although they're ramping down for the night, so it's starting to get a lot more blue in here, and I figured that the Coral Plus bulbs would help balance that out. Let's move on, just take a brief look into the 720 gallon tank. A quick tour of the 720 gallon tank, starting with the Colt Coral, which has been looking really nice. Both of them have been growing up pretty good and looking great. You can see there's quite a bit of green algae growing in these tanks, but you can see there's quite a bit in the way of coralline algae starting to mix in on these rocks as well. Fly over the big shelf piece here, which again, getting quite a bit of coralline algae mixing in with the green algae. Damsels are floating around. And the big cold coral, which is a little closed up right now because the lights are going down, has also been doing great. It has since attached to the rock from the last video. And look, a newcomer to the tank. It's been in for about a week now. A little bit shy still, but he's looking good. I want to leave everybody with a view of the 480 gallon tank. This tank has been looking great and doing pretty good despite the algae. I really hope that using this DIY viewing box shows everybody what a beautiful perspective you can get of your corals from looking top down and simply just putting a smartphone inside the DIY viewing box. If you have any comments or questions today about the DIY viewing box or the setup I'm using to film this, go ahead and leave them down below. If you like today's video, go ahead give it that thumbs up and if you want to see more on the 1600 gallon system go ahead hit that subscribe button thanks again for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next video